か What's going on? Oh, nothing. Doop be doop be doop be doop be doop. Pa. That doesn't work that way. This is my old buddy, Harvey. How do you feel about this chair, Harvey? It's hiding something. You think so? It looks so harmless. That's just a cover, believe me! Not without consulting my interior decorator. I've been sitting around here long enough. Um, hello? Hello, Edna. What's up? What is this place? I have no idea, but I want to get out of here. Me too. It seems to be some kind of asylum. This must be a misunderstanding. <laughs> Who the heck are you? And um, what? You can speak? I'm your buddy, Harvey. It's a shame you don't recognize me. I'll help you get out of here, and try to restore your memory. I'll go and have a look around then. Maybe I can find a way out of here. Ha! I can't reach between the gaps with my fingers. Doesn't look half bad to have upholstery on the walls. I wonder what the padding is for. Sound insulation, I guess. You mean, no one can hear us in here? It's still worth a try. <coughs> Will you cut it out in there? Let's see how detachable this chair leg really is. That didn't do much now, did it? If only I had something pointy. Let's see. If I apply the chair leg back here... And with a little bit of leverage... Oops! I broke it. Ha! Now I want it even less. Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? What do you want? I want out of here. Forget it. What kind of way is that to treat a guest? We won't give up that easily, will we? Hey? Hello? Don't make so much noise in there. What do you want? Where am I? Honey? If I answered that question every time one of you loonies asked me, I wouldn't even have time to go to the bathroom anymore. <laughs> Listen, honey, I'm not paid for talking. Anything else? Why can't I remember anything? I'm not going to explain that to you yet again. Only so you can forget it during your next treatment again. 
I couldn't help but notice how skillfully you're guarding this door. Ah, you noticed that, eh? So you might have also noticed that I have my own technique. I developed it at the last tournament. Yep. Really? So you're a famous athlete? Do you play on a team or something? Oh, <laughs> I... Well, I play golf. Mini golf. Yep. And I bet Mommy bought the club for you. Ha! <laughs> Do you think that a Babbitt and Son can be bought in just any store? Where did you get it? Did you steal it? I think this is all very exciting. Watch your mouth! I've never stolen anything in my life. Where did you get it then? Did you carve it from a whale's jawbone? Ha! The whale has yet to be born! Whose jawbone can compete with the impact of a genuine Babbitt and Son? I give up. Where did you get it? My father made it for me. Jeffrey Francis von Babbitt Sr. Really? As he lay on his deathbed with shaking hands, he handed over his own Babbitt and Son titanium 7 iron. <laughs> his lucky club. He told me to use it like he taught me. You're a real daddy's boy, aren't you? My father was a great man. And an incredible mini-golfer, I'm sure. Yep. That sounds like one of those sophisticated father-and-son relationships. Yes. My father was a very sophisticated man. He was so suave that he always wore a tuxedo. Sometimes at night, I even put on his top hat, just to find out how it felt to be as debonair as my father. Do you mean that kind of sophisticated? Um... Well... Anyway, thanks for sharing this completely useless information with me. I wonder if my father was a mini-golfer too. What did you say, sweetheart? Your father was many things. But Mini Golfer wasn't one of them. <laughs> what do you know about him? There are things that are better left in the past. <laughs> oh boy. Father of Mini Golfer. That really cracks me up. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh. <laughs> Is that all? Or do you want to know anything else? What? I'm not the least bit interested in your father. Hey, show a little more respect, will ya? I could get rather touchy when somebody is trash-talking my father. He taught me everything I know about mini-golf. Tell me more about your club. I've already told you everything about it. My father gave it to me. Yep, yep, yep. A formidable man. Why don't you take your daddy's club and whack it across your skull? <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> My poor father. Just you wait. I hope you suffocate in there. You can forget about me turning on the AC for you. of art. Almost two pieces. I've created a piece of art. Now I want it even less. Are you the sound-absorbing type of padding? I'll take that as a yes. can't reattach it. It's locked! What did you expect? Take that, you insufferable means of exclusion! Too bad. 
Not even a scratch. No, it's already broken. Besides, I don't have any issues with the table. You can't know that for sure. Yeah, you're right. Hey, hello? What is it this time? Why is it so hot in here? That might be due to the air conditioner being turned off. What air conditioner? There's no air conditioner in here. <laughs> Do you think the doctor is stupid enough to have an exposed ventilation shaft in your cell? <laughs> the air conditioner is hidden behind the padding, of course. Is that so? An air conditioner behind the padding? That does make much more sense, of course. Can you turn on the AC for me, please? I'll have to think about that. If you keep quiet from now on, maybe... later. Let me out! This is an emergency! Oh, is it? I have to pee. Ah, the good old I have to pee trick. Truly a classic. Do you honestly think you get to be a warden in an asylum for the insane? If you ever fall for that one? What if I really have to pee? Yeah, yeah. Very clever. I'm a bit dizzy. Well, that's probably because of the stale air in there. I suppose I could get up now, walk over to the controls of the AC, and provide you with some fresh air. But then again, maybe I won't. It's much too hot in here. You can take it. I'm hungry. Dinner's at six. It's a shame that all you'll get is bread and water again. It's free choice day at the cafeteria, you know. I really have to seriously, urgently go pee. Don't try that with me. Just don't. I need to check what the weather is like. Well, the early autumn sun is resting low in an orange sky. The air is so clear that the distant light is sparkling in the mountain reflections. It's around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a lovely day outside, but you won't be able to see it, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm mistaken. No emergency at all. That's even better. Anything else? I'd like to know more about mini golf. Well, who doesn't? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. Mini golf? I'm getting all dizzy. And with good reason, sweetheart. You know what? I'll turn on the AC for you. You can cool off a bit that way. There's a draft coming from behind this gap. I can't get any further with my bare hands. I can't reach between the gaps with my fingers. Look here, Harvey. I've invented the world's first chair leg sharpener ever. Cool. This would work great for vampire hunting. After we escape, we'll make millions. I can't unscrew it without some kind of tool. Huh. You used to know how way back when. What do you mean? You used to be able to loosen screws with no tool before. That's what I mean. Hello, Harvey. Hello, Edna. What's up? What do you mean by all this back then nonsense? 
Well, you used to be able to pull off a pretty cool trick. Could I juggle burning chainsaws? Not exactly that. But a couple of stupid screws would never have been an obstacle for you. I must have been an extra laid-back kid. What else do you know? Um, that isn't how it works. Just remember, I'm a projection of your subconscious. Nobody's perfect. I can give your memory a boost. But you'll have to show me things that remind you of your childhood. Like the screws? Exactamundo! And then? Then I'll tempo morph us to the past! Cool. Hello, Harvey. Hello, Edna. What's up? What do you mean by all this back then nonsense? Well, you used to be able to pull off a pretty cool trick. Could I talk to dolphins? Not exactly that, but a couple of stupid screws would never have been an obstacle for you. I must have been an extra laid-back kid. What else do you know? Um, that isn't how it works. Just remember, I'm a projection of your subconscious. Nobody's perfect. I can give your memory a boost, but you'll have to show me things that remind you of your childhood. Like the screws? Exactamundo! And then? Then I'll tempo morph us to the past! Cool! I'm ready, Harvey. Shall I tempo morph you to the past now? Yeah, tempo morph me to the past. As you wish. Hold on! <laughs> So this is the past? It looks like our old basement at least. And look at me! I'm young! We've jumped back about ten years! Don't I have to be careful now that I don't run over my own grandpa or something? No more than usual. We're just observing your memory here. Ah, I see. So I don't have to be careful in case I step on some dinosaur eggs. Not if you can find any. I know what day this is. My father locked me up in the basement because I teased the neighbor's boy. His name was... Albert, or... Alfred. Alfred Marcel. Alfred Marcel? Like in Dr. Marcel? Oh no! You better believe it! He's the son of the doctor in charge of the asylum. Whoa! But this shouldn't be a concern for us. We're here to teach you the art of loosening screws without a tool. All right, then. Hmm. I have to get my bearings first. I'll go first, if you don't mind. We can take turns, okay? Okay. It's a solid rake with a long handle. One time, Edna put firecrackers in the furnace. But there was no fire in the furnace back then. Edna's playmate Alfred was there instead. Hmm, the window is closed. I might be able to squeeze through, but I can't do it without Edna's help. I wonder if Edna can use this thing. Can you reach the window with a rake? Hmm, this almost sounds like it could work. I could give it a try, if you let me. Hello? Is anybody out there? Hello? Um, Edna? Will you help me up there? Just for a second? Yeah, I think I can manage. It collects rainwater! Maybe we can call the neighbors for help. I'd better ask Edna what she thinks of that. Oh, there's somebody sitting there. The guy on the left is Mattis, Edna's father. But on the right, hey, 
Isn't that Alfred Marcel? That's the son of Dr. Marcel, the head of the asylum. Edna had to play with him a lot back then. But why is he sitting here eating ice cream with Mattis when Edna's locked inside? I don't get it. It says that the chestnut burglar has escaped again. We'll have to watch our chestnuts closely now. Just a second. This is interesting. It says he escaped by using a chewed off toenail. Hmm. This says that you're allowed to rhyme easel with brush. Yippee! That oversight was long overdue. In Flint, Michigan, a left-handed person was stabbed with a right-handed pair of scissors. Very strange. This says that you're allowed to rhyme easel with brush. Yippee! That oversight was long overdue. You're allowed to rhyme easel with brush now. I can hardly wait till Edna hears the good news. Am I dreaming? Isn't that Alfred, Dr. Marcel's son? Edna had to play with him a lot back then. He was the most obnoxious kid in the whole town. And here he is, together with Edna's father, having ice cream! Something stinks! I can't wait to tell Edna about it. She's gonna go berserk when she hears that Mattis is sitting with Alfred having ice cream! The chestnut burglar has escaped again. Maybe Edna can learn something from him. This leads back into the house. You'll never guess what's happening on the porch! Fire away! Mattis, your father, your own flesh and blood, is sitting together with Alfred Marcel, Dr. Marcel's son. And if that wasn't bad enough, they're making themselves nice and cozy with giant ice cream sundaes. I can't believe it. My father prefers that sleazebag over me? Something must be truly rotten here. Edna, Edna, Edna! You won't believe what's in the paper! You're finally allowed to rhyme easel and brush? Um, yes. About time. Now I can finally finish my poem about the weasel in the underbrush. Guess what? The chestnut burglar has escaped again! Oh no, not again! Last time he took three trees in our street alone. Police are saying that he escaped using a chewed-off toenail. Really? Hmm. A knot of toenail shouldn't be hard to come by. And now? I'm really curious to see if this is gonna work. I can't believe it! It really did work! The latch isn't held by the panel anymore. I can just open the door. This really is our old kitchen. I can't wait to go on exploring my past. No, not yet. just about to come back to me. I'm sorry. This was all I could remember. At least you learned how to loosen screws. Right. Thanks, Harvey. Where would I be without you? I admit that it's fun, but one is enough for now. Look at this 
this, Harvey? A ventilator whose razor-sharp blades rotate at a deadly speed. This would fit right in with my collection of frag grenades and anti-personnel mines. What do you think? Shall I take it? <laughs> Harvey? I'm still thinking about it. Oh, look at this, Harvey. A ventilator whose razor-sharp blades rotate at a deadly speed. This what? That's the last thing a juicy steak gets to see before it's turned into hamburger. Hey! Hello! Well, sweetheart, what is it now? I feel a little chilly now. Can you turn off the AC again, please? No. Fresh air is good for you, and with any luck, it'll make you drowsy. I'd like to know more about mini-golf. Well, who doesn't? Have I already told you that I play in the professional league? Yep. Tell me more about your club. I've already told you everything about it. My father gave it to me. Yep, yep, yep. A formidable man. Why don't you take your daddy's club and whack it across your skull? <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> My poor father. Just you wait. Let's see if you're still laughing when I turn the AC back off. This has to go as well. Maybe I can pry the fan out of its casing with this. And... Ugh. This Edna is a real challenge, Holgor. That's Dr. Marcel's voice. It's coming from beyond this grate. Quick, maybe we can listen in on what they're saying. What do you mean by that, Dr. Marcel? I'm at the end of my tether. It's been ten years, and she can still remember. You're afraid she might find out what really happened back then? Pah! Nobody will believe her. Who's gonna believe a loony? The daughter of a convicted murderer. So why are you worried? I'm not worried. I just hate her resistance. I can't believe what I'm hearing. My dad? A murderer? There's something rotten in the state of Denmark. Yeah, this Dr. Marcel is hiding something. As soon as we're out of here, we'll have to clear the good name of my father. The Great doesn't seem to be impressed. Freedom! Freedom! Closed. As was to be expected. Closed. As was to be expected. Freedom! Cut to shreds by the merciless bars of a grate. Maybe you can chew through the bars, Harvey. I'm afraid I can't. My teeth are made of terry cloth. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Unfortunately, the screws are on the outside, so I can't reach them. And yet again, Harvey, a great. So now what? Shall I nibble your toenails for you now? Dr. Marcel and Hulger are gone. Well, here we go again. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Oh, 
how they glimmer. If only they weren't locked away. Ooh, I can't even begin to think of things I could do with this pen. Now that's what I call a beautiful desk. I'll take it. How much is it? What? Nah, that's too rich for my blood. Right. I'll just call my moving company. I don't actually want to take it. Why not? Dr. Marcel has been sitting on it. Ick. I should have finished my apprenticeship. If I had, I would surely be able to take the window out. It's locked. Yikes! Well... If it isn't Miss Edna, how did you manage to get out of your cell? I had to go to the bathroom and got lost. Oh, come to Ulgor and I'll show you the way. The way back to your cell. Ha! Never! I want to talk to Dr. Marcel. At once. The doctor is out. You can talk to him as soon as he's back. Until then, you'll be put back in your cell. Never. As you wish. We might as well wait here. Even as it takes all day long. I've got plenty of time. There's no hidden safe behind it. That doesn't work that way. I'd have to take it first. Cumbersome. Actually, there's a reason why there are four control commands in the interface heart. A polo mallet. I guess I need something more pointed to force it open. I didn't come here to tidy up. <laughs> Closed. That makes me angry. Ooh, I can't even begin to think of things I could do with this pen. I didn't come here to tidy up. I didn't come here to tidy up. Dang it! The pen doesn't write on glass. Hold it! A desk made from the finest wood. 
Too bad there are no documents that say anything about Dr. Marcel's sinister dealings here. I'd really like to know what he's up to. Yes, I should get rid of him. But where to put him? Ah, I know! The cabinet! I don't want to burn it. I could still use it somewhere. I should get rid of Holger first. Come on, we can clean up later. No, somebody could find him and sound the alarm. You have experience with this kind of thing, don't you? I don't want to take the photo with me. I wonder if I can just throw it to the ground. Edna, this is not yours! Its theme is deeply disturbing. It's glued on. It's too high. I can't reach it. It's too high. Whoops! Help! Murder! Shh! I could look at a few yards tops. Somebody else will take care of that. It's too I will not mutilate this pedestal. It shall stand tall as a symbol of utterly failed home decorating for all eternity. The only reason you won't disfigure it is because it's a movable sprite, am I right? Shh. I can't reach them. I always despised chemistry lessons anyway. <laughs> Except for the explosions, of course. I may have lost my memory, but I can still vividly remember how much I used to dislike Alf. Keep your hands off. <gasps> They're pretty much like my own. I don't want it. It's broken. Yeah, I'd love that. That way, I could enjoy the view wherever I am. Unfortunately, the design of this window is somewhat awkward, and somebody has attached the view to the horizon. I don't have to break it. It isn't even locked. Hmm. I wonder what's in there. Whoa, that sounds like... Yeah, almost as if... Well, color me surprised. This is glass. I can't imagine there's anything left unharmed in there. I most certainly will not lug this thing around. What for? There is some missing. Good idea! That way, 
I can turn the light on wherever I am. Oh no, it's attached. What a bummer. Hey! Uh-oh, I better skedaddle. Wait, you little brat! Aha! Caught ya! What's the big idea, walking around on your own? And how did you manage to get out of there? Let's go! Back to your cell! Don't you want to hear my answer? Foolishness! You'll have to get up earlier for that! Yep! Okay, Houdini. I might not know how you managed to escape, but one thing's for sure, it won't happen again. Freedom! Edna was here. Great. Noun, one. Grating, two. A frame of iron bars for holding fuel while it burns. Three. To grind or rub against with a rasping noise. Closed. That makes me angry! I didn't come here to tidy up! Can't do that. There is some missing. What for? There is some missing. I may have lost my memory, but I can still vividly remember how much I used to dislike Alf. I may have lost my memory, but I can still vividly remember how much I used to dislike Alf. Look here, Harvey. This is how cartoons are transmitted. Oh! <laughs> Yes, folks, it's time once again for Edna Conrad and her dancing toenails. It loses some of its appeal trying to get in instead of out. If only it was that easy. You just wait there. I'll be down shortly. There must be a better way than the direct one. You must be joking. Harvey's my best buddy. Hello! Nobody seems to hear me. Hey, 
Uh oh, I better skedaddle. Wait, you little brat! Aha! Caught ya! What's the big idea walking around on your own? And how did you manage to get out of there? Let's go! Back to your cell! Don't you want to hear my answer? You'll have to get up earlier for that! Yep! Okay, Houdini. I might not know how you managed to escape, but one thing's for sure, it won't happen again. I didn't mean to do that. Liar! It's too high. I can't reach it. It's too high. I can't reach it. In this panel, we see Captain Useless mixing up left and right. There's a forest behind the wall. Then there's a river with a bridge over it. I can make out a graveyard and a church. And then... Houses. Isn't that one our house? I have to get there as soon as possible. Whatever it is Dr. Marcel is trying to hide, I'm sure I can find hints there that will help me remember. Jumping is not a solution. Hello! Nobody seems to hear me. Look here, Harvey. This is how cartoons are transmitted. Oh! Look, Harvey! An aerial! Cool! Now we can make contact with a mothership! In this panel, we see Captain Useless! Never! This is a first issue. The encyclopedia might be tedious, but I generally don't burn books. Not without a lighter, anyway. Hmm, this really seems to have exceeded its usefulness. I don't want to drag the photo around. What do you think of that, Harvey? Cool! A broken fan! We could build a great broken helicopter from the parts! What on earth would we possibly do with the broken helicopter? 
Right. We'd still need somebody who could fix it. Or we could just try and find another way out of here. All the better. There must be hundreds of people out there who can fix a helicopter. <sighs> It's broken. But we could build a perfect broken helicopter from the parts. What on earth would be possible? Right. We'd still need somebody who could fix it. Or we could just try and find another way out of here. All the better. There must be hundreds of people out there who can fix a helicopter. Oh. <laughs> I'll hang that over my fireplace as a trophy. Not... It's suffered enough already. Besides, there isn't enough room in here to swing properly. That's Dr. Marcel's throne. Hmm. That's what I call a massive chair. Dang it! The pen doesn't write on glass. Better skedaddle. Wait, you little brat! What's going on here? What's the big idea walking around on your own? And how did you manage to get out of there? Let's go! Back to your cell! Don't you want to hear my answer? Foolishness! You'll have to get up earlier for that! Yep! Okay, Houdini. I might not know how you managed to escape, but one thing's for sure, it won't happen again. Uh-oh, I better skedaddle. Wait, you little brat! <coughs> What's going on here? What's the big idea walking around on your own? And how did you manage to get out of there? Let's go! Back to your cell! Don't you want to hear my answer? Foolishness! You'll have to get up earlier for that! Yep! Okay, Houdini. I might not know how you managed to escape, but one thing's for sure, it won't happen again. Although it's not exactly gracious the way the photo has been crammed into this smaller frame, 
I don't see any reason why I should change that. No. Nobody has the right to destroy memories. How about giving memories a funny mustache? Nope. No. How about giving memories a funny mustache? Nope. A framed newspaper clip over the mantelpiece. That seems to be important. Now, what is this? That's my father right there in the picture. This article states my father is a murderer. That is a horrendous lie. No, it may all just be a blatant lie, but it is a hint regarding my father's past nonetheless. Hey! Uh-oh, I better skedaddle. Wait, you little brat! <laughs> What's the meaning of this? Come back here at once! You'll break every bone in your body! Why don't you come and get me? Well... Oh, isn't that cute? Our mini-golf professional has a fear of heights. Coward, coward. Yeah, you just laugh. But eventually, you'll have to come down from there. And that's when I'll show you. Uh-oh, I better skedaddle. Wait, you little brat! Babbitt is in there. I better not get too close to him. What's going on here? What's the big idea, walking around on your own? And how did you manage to get out of there? Let's go! Back to your cell! Don't you want to hear my answer? Foolishness! You'll have to get up earlier for that. Yep. Okay, Houdini. I might not know how you managed to escape, but one thing's for sure, it won't happen again. Hey! Uh-oh, I better skedaddle. 